Hey guys, it's Chris, and today we have something a little different. We have a Panasonic 3DO. This is the model FZ10. This one does not turn on at all, so uh, I think it's got some bad stuff. Uh, I bought this off of eBay. It's in pretty crummy shape. It's really dirty. It's missing the CD uh, button right here where it like has a little lid thing that detects when the lid has been closed to engage the CD motor which I guess still spins if it if I if I could get it to power on we would see what's up um, but for now we are going to take it apart and look at its capacitors seven screws removed. This top cover should just lift right off. You can see the old, looks like early 3D printing. <laughs> Injection mold, I don't know what it was. So we'll set the lid aside and there is a plastic uh, laser light LED light cover. We're also going to be setting that aside. Um, the CD-ROM needs the, or the CD-ROM laser and motor need to come out first there's a specific way of doing this there are two well there's supposed to be two pigs there's one pig here and one pig right here and what you need to do is on the bottom you'll see these are flat on the bottom of the unit if you flip it over oh this plastic housing should also come off too so when you flip the unit over you're going to see four holes two of which are blanks right here and two right here and inside I don't you can't really see it there are these depression little things so if you take a Phillips screwdriver and just push down on here you'll feel it when you turn it back over oh there we go it will just pop right out and they look like this there's little pins so put them aside remove your laser cover there is a wire in the front here let's see if I can get this camera up a little bit there we go so there's a wire in the front a power wire there we go there's another little power wire on this side now I noticed already there's a pinch in here and if you fold the unit forward, there is a wire here, a little ribbon, and another one here. And that removes the laser. And what I'm doing is I'm checking for the grease. You see the lithium grease here is in, I guess, pretty good condition. But we're going to be making sure that this is well lubed up. It looks like the previous owner attempted to do something with it, and it has some fingerprints on it. Um, it looks to be in good shape. I hope it still works minus the pinched wires here I don't know what that's gonna cause so we're gonna set that aside here's the pigs I was talking about be very careful around this area this is your CD-ROM start mechanism it does have a soldered in 2032 battery which looks to be non leaking and may even hold some current It has 3.05 volts left in it. This is from 1990-something. Usually the date is written on a board inside or on a sticker on the bottom. Uh, September 1990... Oh, the sticker's been folded over. Possibly 5, 1995. 3 volts left in it from 95. That's, that's really good. Uh, looks pretty clean on the inside here. We're going to set that cover down. And here we go. Here is our nice uh, Anvil Revision 4 from 1994 with the 3DO logo on it. This is a 1995 board. Issues. The caps actually look pretty daggone good. They're all raised up though. When I mean raised up, they're above the board like they're not all the way down the legs are sticking out on each side 
So we're going to go ahead and remove the board. It has a double ribbon cable right here. This should pop up and let me remove it like that. Be careful with it. This thing is old. I'm not touching it out of the power supply, but I am going to remove the remaining one or two screws that are holding this board in. You got to remove the side access door because it has a little lip right here that prevents the board from being lifted out. There's a dust bunny and what I like to see is no fingerprints just like this. What I'm worried about here are the CD-ROM capacitors from here and these. It's kind of nice having the legs all lit up like that. Two, close this and press it. Testing, capacitor. Uh, 0 0.84 ESR VLOS 16% 498.4 microfarad 498.4 wait a minute 100 UF 16 volt how in the world am I getting 498 out of it that's just crazy. Testing. 499.6 microfarads. Uh, yeah, that is definitely not right. 116. 100.3 microfarad. 0 0.87 V loss 11. This one is either bad or just way over spec. Testing it again. 100.9, 0 0.86, ESR, VLOS 11%. I'm going to test one more. They're negative. These elevated legs are actually uh, kind of nice and this one's not grabbing. Okay, so this is a lesser value. Fifty microfarad, zero point eight nine. So these are actually good. We're gonna test the same one. This is that uh, sixteen one hundred. Four ninety eight point seven. Oh, four hundred ninety eight point seven. Ground yourself. Yeah. So I don't know what will cause a capacitor to go to 500 microfarad. I mean, that's not, it's not popping, but it's listed as a capacitor and it's showing up as a diode. I think I found my problem. Panasonic caps are usually good. Ooh, that one's kind of leaky. Yeah, that one's going to have it on the bottom. Can you see this? Right here. There's a diode next to it too. And it's they're very it's very bulged. That one, why is it coming up as 470? That is just crazy. Ooh, there's leakage on the bottom here. Very well. They bent the legs when they soldered them in. There we go. One leaked out capacitor. In case you're wondering on a Panasonic board, there is like a little smiley face on one side. That's always going to be your negative for a Panasonic board, so just make sure your orientation is correct.
so a couple hours later I got the entire board recapped uh, I couldn't do these two there for the RF modulator and everything else has been replaced and we're gonna reassemble this sucker and see what it does right and left component oh this is really tight in here okay oh. we have power we have power okay so we have power to the unit let's see if we have disc spin so wolfenstein official disc it is clean. Place the disc in. And I'm going to press this down. We have spin. Awesome. Let's see what we get. Do I get a Wolfenstein? Aspect ratio is off. Guess what, guys? skip that I have a working FZ 10 unfortunately I have to hold my finger on the button but uh it's working but at least the CD-ROM is spinning the heads working I used to have so much fun with this game back in the day this is the demo I'm not playing I'm just letting it roll to make sure it works Seems to be pretty fluid. We're back. We uh, got a 3DO that's fixed. I'm going to release the eject button to return me to the 3DO screen. The disc stops on its own. And we're back to the 3DO screen. Oh, I want to check something. Since recapping this, the FZ10 has a memory manager like on the FC-10 or the Gold Star, you can actually manage the memory and delete. So I'm going to press X, which is the stop button. Look, we have 32K of RAM. Wolfenstein 3D preferences. I guess it didn't have anything in there because it was done. Remove item. Uh, I don't want to remove it. I'm going to leave it. Uh, X to done. Which X? Alright. So, ladies and gentlemen, looks like we fixed an FZ-10 back in business. I want to thank you guys for watching and have a great one. And I hope you learned something. Thanks for watching.